welcome to my youtube channel i'm still your girl sean jade um first of all i want to thank god for this because without god there will be there wouldn't be sean jade and channel and i want to thank you my subscribers thank you for the feedback thank you for the encouragement i really appreciate you guys god bless you and today we'll be looking at this topic stand out yes stand out i will be taking a topic from this story where jesus asked his um, disciples to take him away from the crowd with a boat to take him to the other side i know we all know that story uh, that um, story is taken from matthew 8 verse 18 i'll be looking at 18 and 19 then I just want to explain some things and I hope we can really see the picture here or just see what I'm trying, uh, understand what I'm trying to say. The um, best person to learn how to stand out for, I don't know for you, but for me, the best person I know, I learned how to stand out from is Jesus. Like seriously, if you check the Bible, he was always standing out like there is nowhere Jesus would enter. Everybody will know that Jesus is around. So I'm just giving us two qualities of how Jesus was able to stand out. So the first quality here was that Jesus told his disciples to move the boat to the other side of the lake first of all you can't stand out if you are in the crowd you can't stand out if you are in the crowd because jesus knew he had to speak to the crowd he had to he, he, he wants the crowd to listen to him he didn't come into the crowd to speak to them he moved outside the crowd he, he moved to the other side to speak to them you want people to listen to you. You want you know you are you you have something different to do, and yet you feel if you move if you move along or you tag along with the crowd, people will listen to you. Or if you do what every other person is doing, or if you blend in with the crowd, people will listen to you. You don't speak when you are in the crowd. You have to move out for you to stand out. A lot of you might be doing different things, like you might be into a lot of things, maybe um, skills, or you have a, um, things to tell people, or you have, um, you just have something to say or something to do, and yet you feel that like people are not listening, or people don't care, or people are not even watching, or um, saying anything about what you are doing. I have to tell you this, you are in the crowd, move out of the crowd. When you move out of the crowd, people will come to you. And what Jesus saw was the crowd. He had to move out of the crowd. Your crowd could be anything. Your crowd could be your, your clique. When I mean your clique, like your social gatherings, your friends, people you are used to. Your ideology could be your crowd. Your belief system could be your crowd. What you believe in, maybe from when you were young, can be stopping you from getting um, people's attention or getting across your message across to people. So you don't blend into the crowd to talk to the crowd. You don't fit into the crowd to talk to the crowd you have to step aside go to the other side then you talk to the crowd then secondly when you step out of the crowd when you stand out of the crowd people will volunteer themselves to you in verse 19 we saw one man come up to jesus to tell him oh teacher i would follow you wherever you go to he has already seen that Jesus is different. He has already seen that Jesus is the master of all. He has already known the importance of Jesus for him to volunteer himself that he is going to follow um, Jesus. 
when you stand out, people will volunteer themselves. People will want to, you don't even need to look for people. I see this case whereby people um, look for people um, they say um, maybe they are doing something that is even beneficial to people or I don't know what it is but they know that what I'm doing is actually beneficial for everybody and yet you are begging people oh come and do this come and join me and uh, come and no first of all you have to stand out then when you stand out people will volunteer to come and help you in fact you'll be the one selecting people are you 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 okay do this you do that Jesus didn't have to beg anybody to follow him or to volunteer. People came and said, oh, we'll follow you. Or people came and said, oh, we will do this. People came. So first of all, my first point here is, first of all, you have to stand out of the crowd. And I said the crowd could be anything, your friends, your belief system, your ideologies, whatever it is that is making you to blend with every other person. You need to blend out. You need to stand out. Then secondly, when you stand out, People will come to you. You don't have to beg people to come. You don't have to look for people. People will look for you when you stand out. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. Um, thank you for listening. And have a great weekend. I had. Bye.